Alright. Let's go through this. Um, I'm not going to type this out because I kind of messed up the first time around. So this is my second time. So first is going to loop. We're going to create a variable enemy and it equals self find the nearest enemy. So we're just catching enemy. So if there's an enemy, then this will be true. And then we're gonna create we're gonna create a distance variable. And if the distance variable we're gonna create a distance variable stored. And if the distance of an of an enemy distance of the enemy is less than five, we're gonna cat. We're gonna create another nest another if statement if cleave is ready we're gonna cleave them cleave is an AOE so an AOE basically means we're gonna kill like a swarm of enemies and else we're just gonna attack so watch this code So yeah. So um, I'll show you what I have. I have um, this armor. You need this around this much to beat it. And uh, I'll try to do much more small. First, distance plus distance to enemy. If enemy is if distance is less than ten. Okay, this is my algorithm. That's about it. Let's see, it's got to run. Oh, this should have worked. Oh. Yeah, it works. It bugged out.
Okay, bugged out on me. Okay, bugged out on me, so what's cornucopia? Oh, we're gonna create flags. Okay, so this is a flag, so it's gonna run for the flag. Boom, 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 boom. So it's gonna follow flags. So I'm gonna create an algorithm to pick up flags. This game will not work unless you know how to code. So it forces you to code. You, you don't know how you can't you haven't do the clicking. So this is a really good primer of making a game. But engine is already made, so you can basically make a game out of this stuff. Okay, I finished it. And then, uh, we gotta go through it again. See what's happening under the hood. So, this mission's called Cornucopia, pretty simple. Um, so, it's a loop. We're gonna catch the variable and the flag right here. If there's a flag, then self pick up the flag. Then L self say, flag is for me. Blah, blah, blah. That's about it. And we're gonna play one more. Is this old voice? Oh, I did this one. I remember. Um, I, I, I didn't tutorial last time on this one. So, flag is the second method of self pick up flag. Flag is defined, and then we're gonna attack the enemy. There's an enemy attack. So, So we're gonna aggro. Oh no. Crap, my horse is gonna die. Um I don't like the real way, we can just block this. Okay, let's do this again. Submit, we're gonna put flags. So we're just gonna aggro them with this area. Okay, I passed it. It's not bad. Um, he had the same amount of armor, like I had 400. So I need it. Ah, so that's a couple of those. Click, slice, click, 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 click. So 
first. Put on five Like the fine, then we have to get mob. Well, we also got to find the item, too. So, that's what we got. some music. Uh, if you're wondering where, sorry. If you're wondering why the music is so awesome, it's it's by the same guy who made Kingdom Rush. You know this game, Kingdom Rush. It's the same dude who made the music for this. The, these guys. It's also a very fun game. Oh, we have a third one. What is this? It's basically a TD game. It's a, it's the same dude. He's a really good musician. Alright, we're gonna run through what happened here. Uh, I'm making these throws longer because longer. Uh, okay. So it's a loop again. Um, this is a flag. It's a variable. We catch self find flag. So that's what it does. So if there's a flag, then we're gonna pick up the flag. So our method is to pick up the flag. So our our function picks up the flag, obviously. Else, we're gonna pick a flag. Or we're gonna pick up items ourselves. So we're gonna define an item and define nearest item, and then the position of the item. The position is based on that necklace, I think. Right, we're gonna we're gonna find a, we're gonna position. So we're gonna have position X Y, and then our self move toward the X Y the these coins. So I just basically create a bot. So my little bot, this my little character is gonna pick up gold. And then I'm also con con not gonna give the bot full control. I'm gonna have my my little flag, like click around. So when it's done collecting coins, my bot will move somewhere else to collect coins. So basically, this is a mini bot algorithm right here. So, um, if you enjoyed this tutorial, till next time, bye.